We're going to try to do it outside in the market because it's much more visual and the lighting's better. And it's hopefully not going to rain. Okay. The goal is to be done there by, you know, like two hours. You've got two hours to do this. And you can grab lunch and come back. At about 2 o'clock, maybe as late as 2.30, but probably at 2, depending on what Ken and I do. And we want to watch your stand-ups together. As we did this project in 2012, uh, exact same type of project, team of about 15, and in two weeks produced a 30-minute television news magazine focused on Croatia as it was about to enter the EU. It was called CroID, uh, Who Are We? And we thought, based on the U.S. Embassy's invitation, uh, let's do it again now that Croatia has been a member of the EU for two or three years and see what, if any, changes there are. Besides doing a TV documentary, this time we're also doing um, multimedia storytelling for a website. We're shooting the stories on iPhones, editing on iPhones, so we're using what we call true multimedia platforms. And probably the toughest and most exciting part, and especially the most important habit for them to develop, is they're doing social media throughout. So they're tweeting it, they're putting it on Instagram, they're on Facebook, it's everywhere. You start, start saying it, start saying it. Say it because we gotta hear it. Uh -huh. So Dolac is a marketplace uh, located uh, just a few meters from this whole park, Banyalatic uh, Square. Three sentences. Yes, 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 uh, but uh, I have memorized it. This was, uh, Dolac was the biggest market to just. Hi, my name is uh, Robert Rudic. Uh, I am 26 year old journalist who works on uh, Croatian uh, radio television on Voice of Croatia. Don't hold the mic like a finger. Just <laughs> on college, uh, we didn't we didn't do stand ups, so it was my first experience, and uh, I must say that. Uh, I really love the radio because I hate camera. <laughs> I'm not the person for a camera. <laughs> I do. Take six. Lotz is a market located just a few meters from the heart of the city. It has been the major trading place since 1926. Farmers from the surrounding villages come to sell their homemade products, some fresh vegetables and fruit you ever taste. The end is still not working, yes, and yes. it's because you're walking too slow and you've run out of words to say. It's uh, very hard, but uh, when you break the ice, when you when you shoot some 70, 20 takes, <laughs> it's it gets easier then. Well, people in Croatia are disgusting. Hashtag. Yeah, they are disgusting. They're disgusting. <laughs> <Go back again. laughs> disgusting. Yes, they are disgusting. Oh, they are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> while people in Croatia are while people discussing, in, while people in Croatia are discussing investments, uh, uh, economy, Croatia. positive business climate. Perfect. Uh, uh, my name is Silvia Bionda. I'm a journalist from Voice of Croatia. We were doing stand-ups for about I don't know five, six, seven times. It was hard. It was my first time. Uh, and I was I was so nervous. Uh, Bill gave me some advice uh, for for that shooting, so I think it well it went well. But uh, okay, we'll see. It. While people in Croatia are discussing investments, economy, and positive business climate, Europe, Asia, and Middle East countries are uh, thinking about investing in future in smart cities. The urban population of Zagreb is growing more and more from year to year. So, with new contemporary technology projects, they are trying to balance uh, a high energy consumption and uh, powerful industrial development. For example, Croatian trams, they are spending so much electricity more than trams in Copenhagen. So we're asking, uh, where are Croatian trams and cities heading? My name is Nina Fliss and I'm working uh, on Croatian national radio television in program The Voice of Croatia. Uh, the stand-up what I was doing two days ago was about products which we are importing now in Croatia, since Croatia is the part of EU, um, and it was the first time that I done it. Um, it was interesting uh, experience. Since Croatia joined the European Union, EU, 
Since Croatia joined, since Croatia joined to EU, the country is importing much more products than before. In the first year of membership, we import vegetables and fruits worth 258 millions of dollars. Fortunately, we still have these places like Dolat's Market, where you can find products homemade in Croatia. I chose journalism for my career because it's very dynamic and interesting and every day is different and I'm learning some, some new things from a lot of uh, parts of, I don't know, culture, economy, um, politics. Like any journalist, I'm curious and I want to investigate some topics that are relevant for the society, about the economy, business, uh, politics. So I want to be a mediator that delivers uh, important information to the audience, to the audience. I was so naive. They, they told me that uh, I, I can change the world, but <laughs> they lied to me. <laughs> no, no, uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's just amazing thing. When you have this power and ability to, to meet some uh, people with many, many of the stories and when you can tell them to the audience, uh, I don't know, for me that's uh, just amazing thing. So this is a mistake. And if we... Okay, okay, they shot the same things though on, um, yeah. on a camera, yeah, right? So hopefully it would be better yeah. on camera. So today we were focusing on the typical television stand-up, which is the signature of every television news package can be frightful and fearful if you've never done one before. Being in front of the camera, trying to memorize things, worrying about walking and talking at the same time was a new challenge, but they passed with flying colors. Mm -hmm.